Armenian letter forms. And um, it is very pleasant to me uh, to see that Armenian type design slowly but surely is developing in the right direction by the help of such competitions as uh, Granishan. Almost 10 to 15 years ago, uh, our, our type and industry was filled with very low quality typefaces that you could find on magazines, uh, uh, posters and various other publications. And one of the major reasons for this uh, was the lack of qualified type designers and uh, the lack of educational centers to prepare them. Uh, and even though the situation is better today than it was years ago, we still have a way to develop, uh, to become compatible actually with uh, international standards. And uh, I think it won't be an exaggeration for me to test that Armenian letters are really beautiful and unique in their own way. And um, this makes uh, the job of our designers even more pleasant and interesting, I think. So this is, the, um, this is an example of Bolorgir that was used in uh, the Middle Ages. And as you can see here, the bars and extenders are quite long here. And uh, this was done in order to not confuse similar letters with each other. Um, and this is already uh, an example of contemporary typeface. And as you can see, two letters uh, were added uh, later in the thir 13th century, O and F. Um, uh, before the digitization uh, of Armenian typefaces, uh, we had many amazing lettering artists. But after this event, uh, our font database was not only poor, but uh, the majority of typefaces were very difficult to uh, read. And most of them mutilated uh, uh, Armenian letter forms. And uh, the thing is that all those lettering artists uh, were not computer specialists. and those. Uh, and couldn't digitize their own work. And those who were computer specialists did, didn't know type design. And so when they started uh, developing typefaces, um, the majority of them just imitated the proportions and uh, uh, structures of uh, Latin typefaces. And di this didn't work quite well for Armenian. As you can see, uh, all our letters are, are on the same level uh, compared to Cyrillic and uh, Latin because uh, their uh, capital letters are uh, smaller in height uh, than uh, the lower cases. So yeah, this is uh, one of the peculiarities of Armenian uh, characters, I guess. Um, also, another one is that um, 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 Armenian alphabet system has only six letters that don't have ascenders and uh, descenders. The rest of them either have both uh, or one. Uh, so when uh, we're reading in Armenian, we're actually our eyes are actually being concentrated from uh, the descender line to the ascender line. Whereas in uh, Latin and Cyrillic, those um, descenders and ascenders are not as prevalent, and their their uh, their main purpose is just not dull the eyes. Uh, so while we're reading in uh, Latin and Cyrillic, our uh, eyes are more concentrated from the uh, baseline to X hate. Uh, as you can see, um, we can get uh, all, all these letters that are, that are in black uh, just by shifting and alternating, rotating um, uh, these three letters, Bevo and R. Uh, and uh, all these uh, lower cases can be created from uh, these three basic uh, letter forms, vos and a. Uh. And actually here, the role of uh, descenders, ascenders, uh, and extenders, it's really important in order uh, to make um, uh, very readable uh, typefaces. Um, so uh, font uh, editing programs suggest these five standard ligatures, as you can see, these are them, it's uh, uh, five of them. Uh, but it is not enough to cover all the inaccuracies that are caused by um, letters that are facing each other, actually. Uh, so that's why we create uh, many additional ligatures, as you can see here on the screen. 
uh, we create uh, same uh, in the same logical uh, way uh, ligatures for uh, upper uh, capital letters. Um, the symbols of intonation and um, uh, punctuation marks are uh, placed on the last, well, uh, last syllable of the word in Armenian, majority of cases. Uh, but uh, most of uh, modern typefaces put the intonation symbols so far away from the letters that it seems to be um, uh, two words, it is, it, is, it is demonstrated here. And that is why we create separate ligatures uh, with the symbols of intonation and punctuation marks to easily solve this issue. Uh, unfortunately, some of the um, most famous contemporary typefaces uh, uh, deform the unique uh, structures and proportions of our uh, typefaces, substituting them with um, Latin ones. And as you can see uh, here, above is demonstrated an example where the punctuation mark again is uh, placed uh, really far away. Um, uh, above you can see an example uh, where uh, some Latin uh, letters are used instead of uh, Armenian ones. This is another example of uh, inaccurate and inappropriate letter. Um, we actually don't have the, uh, that looks like Latin S or uh, F uh, for K. It is used in here, which uh, we don't have any such cases, cases and it's really inappropriate and inaccurate. Um, Another one, yeah, I have brought several examples. As you can see here again, again, uh, the uh, issue of uh, placing uh, the punctuation mar marks really far away from the letters. Oh. Um. <laughs> uh, but thankfully, uh, uh, we have many amazing uh, type designers uh, who have done a great job by perfecting and purifying uh, Armenian type industry, and among them are Edik Rabuzan and Angela Borosov, and it is actually an honor for me to work with them. Um, he has actually created um, more than 500 typefaces for over 35 years, and um, one of his greatest achievements is that our young generation is uh, being very interested in creating uh, high-quality typefaces, and I have witnessed how many of them um, uh, took part in different international competitions and um, received prizes and awards for their uh, job. And another huge achievement for our uh, Armenian type industry was the initiation of Ganana Shan uh, because as um, it was mentioned already, one of the main goals was to give a proper ground for Armenian and other writing systems to develop in the right direction. And uh, it was possible to realize by the help of uh, conferences and competitions that are being held since uh, 2008. Um, and um, it, um, uh, uh, Gdanishan has uh, managed to bring together various cultures and uh, specialists together for many years to discuss uh, various issues of different scripts and uh, this gives us a hope for a brighter future for our type design. So thank you very much for that.